Hi, we're out on the range today, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Now recently I did a presentation on Winchester Ranger T-Series 9x19 147 grain jacket at Hollow Point, and the results were, in a word, unimpressive. But the same viewer that sent me that also sent me Winchester Ranger T-Series 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at Hollow Point. Now in shooting the 9mm I compared 147 grain to 115 grain projectiles. But for 40 Smith & Wesson, I've found that 180 grain is a very popular projectile weight choice. So the main question today will be, if you are going to shoot a 40 Smith & Wesson with a 180 grain jacket at hollow point, is Winchester Ranger T-Series a good choice? Well, let's shoot a couple of different types of ammo and see what we can learn. Now we're going to start with the chronograph, and I'm going to start with this Sig Sauer Elite Performance 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at hollow point. Nine forty eight. Nine seventy one. Nine sixty two. Nine sixty nine. And nine seventy one. Now let's try a different type of ammo. Now let's try our Winchester White Box 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at hollow point. 1,025. 1,016. 1,012. 1,003. and 999. Now let's try something else. And now our Winchester Ranger T-Series 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at hollow point. 1,034. 1,055. 1,056. 1,061 and 1,025. Now let's go crunch the numbers and see how we did. So how'd we do? Well with our Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition we've got a mean velocity of 964. With the Winchester White Box it's 1,011. That's 47 feet per second more. Is that significantly more? It's debatable. But with our Winchester Ranger T-Series, we see a mean velocity of 1,046. That's 82 feet per second more than the Sig Sauer Elite Performance, and I'd say that is significant. But how will these numbers translate into effectiveness on the target? Let's put that to the test. And to test our expansion, I'll shoot from 7 yards, and I'll start with the Sig Sauer Elite Performance 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain jacket at hollow point. All of our bullets were stopped either by the t-shirt on the back of the target or by the first layer of fleece. Let me show you a close-up of what they look like. Now we got some really good expansion. Two of our projectiles lost their jackets, but the jackets were both stopped by the t-shirt on the back of the target. Now as far as the performance we got from the Sig Sauer Elite performance, bullets went through the ribs on the front and back and where the hit ribs shattered them, and we see really good damage to our orange lung tissue. Now let's try another type of ammo. And now we'll just try our Winchester White Box 180 grain jacket at hollow point. 9.50. And here's our Winchester White Box projectiles, all stopped by the t-shirt on the back of the target, all keeping their jackets, and all with pretty good expansion. And just like we saw with our Sig Sauer ammunition with the Winchester White Box where the bullets hit the ribs, shattered them, and there's a lot of damage to our orange lung tissue. Now let's see how this stacks up against the Ranger T ammo. And now the Ranger T 180 grain jacket at hollow point. And there's our Ranger T hollow points with what I would call excellent expansion. Now let's take a look at the target. 
And with our Ranger T ammo, we got what looks like really good performance in our ribs and excellent damage to our orange lung tissue. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, the snow quit, that's kind of nice. But as far as the performance of the T-Series ammunition, the 9mm wasn't that impressive, but in shooting the 40 Smith & Wesson today, it was impressive. Had good velocity, good damage to the meat target, the hollow point expansion was excellent. And so, although I said I probably wouldn't buy any of the 9mm T-Series, well, for 40 Smith & Wesson, it is an ammunition I'd probably buy. Now, there's one thing I want to add to this. The viewer that sent me the T-Series ammo asked about a demonstration in terms of barrier penetration. Well, in the near future, we plan to do a demonstration of using a car as cover, so there will be some barrier penetration. And the Winchester Ranger T-Series, both in 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson, will make an appearance there. So until then, don't try this at home on what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the Winchester Ranger T-Series 40 Smith & Wesson video.